Now, hi guys, welcome back to this YouTube channel. First of all, get motivated and read this, yeah? Set a trading goal so big that you can't achieve it until you grow into the trader who can. Listen to that, right? It's very deep, right? So, before you can achieve that, you know, it's a consistency part to it. And in this video, mainly, I'll be talking about risk management you need in forest trading or my simple risk management which i apply in trading very simple i'm sure by now most of you understand that i don't risk more than 20 pips stop loss in my trading and that's what has made me more profitable in the market or maybe one part of the one percent traders that we have in the world you know profitable traders that we have so i'll be showing you guys the simple uh risk management you need to understand right now so let's get straight to the whiteboard let me show you guys to understand it as well it's not a very big deal just very simple so yeah guys now i know most of you believe that you all need to risk or you all need to use low lot size before your money management can be perfect or can be good right no it's not like that my simple risk management which i use i'll be explaining it right now but this is a different way you don't need to risk uh you don't use to use small lot size before you can perfect your risk management yeah of course we all want to make money in the market so how can you make good money out of the market and your risk management too is still going to be good right if your risk management is good you can always make money in the market so first rule for me is not more than 20 pips stop loss i don't use more than 20 pips stop loss this is out there, right? That's the number one rule that comes when I'm when I'm trading. That's under my risk management trading rules. Not more than 20 pips stop loss. So you need to work yourself in this 20 pips stop loss. Put yourself in that condition, right? Now, let me explain how that works. What I'm doing now, I'm not going to be telling you what loss size you need to use for your particular account, right? Now, I can't tell you a certain loss size. We're going to do the calculation together and whatever loss size suits you, you can apply it in your trading, right? Now, what you need to understand is the simple knowledge to money management is risk wherever you can afford to lose without emotions, without emotions setting in. And this is how we do it, right? So let's say A has a $1,000 trading account, right? Now, my first rule is not to use more than 20 pips stop loss. Now, if I have a $1,000 account, what comes to your head first is how much am I uh, willing to risk per trade on this $1,000 account? In most cases, trader says don't risk more than 2% or 3% of your account. Now, that depends on you, right? For me, I can comfortably lose like 50% of my account. If it's $1,000, I can lose 10%, right? But I can't lose 50 percent i can't be willing to lose 50 percent and also wanting to make 50 percent that means i need to lose 50 percent to like make 150 percent back right you need to think like this to check the market right you want to risk less to make more money right so now the first thing you should do whenever you have a trading account is how much do you want to risk per trade right if you come here and say okay you want to risk five percent per trade right that's good set it in you want to risk this per trade right now don't forget at the end of the day how good you are in the technical aspect is still going to set in right but first of all your risk management has to be there it helps you to what your longevity in the market how long you're going to stay in the market even though you're losing back to back but of course if your risk management is good you're still going to stay long in the market or if your technical analysis is bad but your tech or uh, your risk management needs to be good here we go you deciding to risk five percent of your account per trade simply means that what you don't want to lose minus fifty dollars per trade you take right now yeah now what do you need to do next when you decide you don't want to lose fifty dollars per trade that means on this one thousand dollars account if you're losing fifty dollars per trade you are comfortable to lose that per trade right you don't set in your emotion you're comfortable it won't put you in that psychological state right now what do you need to do next what do you need to figure out next now you need to bring in what what loss size is suitable for you you already know that you don't want to lose more than fifty dollars per trade now what loss size is suitable for you and you also remember that you're not risking more than what 20 pips stop loss in this situation so what do we do we have 20 pips 
we have 20 pips stop loss already times the lot size that you're going to be using now now your lot size need to be something that, okay number that you times your stop loss and to give you what fifty dollars right now you know you understand what i'm saying the five lot which means that 0 0.25 lot times minus 20 pips you're still going to lose what your fifty dollars doing this you're perfecting your risk management on wherever you want to lose right you need to understand that calculating what you want to lose first is more key than what you want to make right so before you take a trade what comes to you is how much am i willing to risk first how much am i willing to lose first of all then the profit is take is secondary now in this sense i'm going to be showing you ways you can even cheat with the market even using this 20 piece stop loss and not going against any of your rule which is not risking more than five percent of your account so now in this situation how do we do it how do we make more money to check the market using the same minus 20 pip stop loss not risking more than 50 dollars by your one thousand dollars account so let's do this uh so minus 20 pips right here 20 pips sl times lot size now your loss is figured right is is constant which is 50 dollars now what you need to do what you need to improve to make more money in the market is very simple go on the market improve your technical aspect your technical skills find setup that i will give you lower risk right find setup that can give you lower risk like if you find setup that can give you 10 pips risk right now yeah then what you need to do is when you find setup that can give you 10 pips risk right what you need to do is bring this loss size right types it right you cannot change this loss size to 0 0.50 when you find stop loss that can give you half of the normal usual risk you do before right doing this that means what you're risking less but you're risking same amount to make higher amount right now let's say with this previous 0 0.25 you make maybe hundred dollars in this case you make maybe plus hundred dollars in this case right now when you find a setup in the market and your setup is giving you minus 10 pips right now what is best for you to do right there is increase your lot size yeah increase your lot size to 0 0.50 is 0.50 lot right now note this if this trade eventually goes against you that means what you're still losing the what your 50 dollars you plan to lose you're not risking more than initial amount you plan on losing it's still something right then doing this this helps you to grow your account bigger right doing this risk management it helps you to grow your account bigger right now initially let's say you make hundred dollars with this 25 lot size and you got same setup right that means with this you're making about 50 pips right with this you'll be making like a lot of money on this trade right now yep now you're making 200 dollars instead of 100 dollars right now you're making 200 dollars instead of 100 dollars right now and with that you've been able to grow your account times four percentage you make on this short so the simple tactics is try to figure first thing is rule one no more than 20 pips stop loss rule two is constant your losses right no more than the figure then third thing to check the market is bring your setup your risk lower right find a good setup in the market that can give you lower risk with that you can make more money in the market easy and comfortable right right then doing this you need to work on your psychology as well next video i might be talking about the psychology part whereby i know all traders need that as well this video i believe you learned one or two things make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel right now there's a link below where i drop free signal for my student for anybody trading with me all right i do share my trade there you can always click the link below now description video below to join the telegram group and let's trade together let's make money together all right Snap it